his foot. Turnover number 20 matches a season high for the Nets, last done on Halloween. And the Boobirds are coming down from this crowd. And they were all right, so there's 13 days until the trade deadline and things aren't looking good for the Nets. So the most important thing is Kyrie is still not vaccinated and as a direct result, he's not playing any home games. So we know the Nets aren't living up to what they were supposed to be right now. And then Harden's struggling to recognize his role as a second or third option. The Nets don't have a lot of wiggle room for mistakes. And so trade talk is unavoidable, especially after Harden declined his 46.9 million player option for the 2022-2023 season and becoming an unrestricted free agent. At least it seems like Harden's still invested in this season after after saying quote unquote the contract the money it's going to be there i don't plan on leaving this organization in the situation we have my focus is on the season and winning a championship the contract and all that stuff it'll play itself out as it should and now talking about the sixers we all know the difficulties they have with ben simmons refusing to play and just their overall disappointment with the success of the team all these rumors might just become reality and don't forget that Daryl Morey, the guy behind the Rockets' success and all the trades that they made for Arden, yeah, he's still with the Sixers. So I'm pretty sure he's behind this or uh, whole orchestra. He's just planning this little move. And yeah, Arden with the Sixers might just be the perfect situation for him. Because Arden is not the type of player that can play with two other superstars and just be the third option that's just not who harden is harden is a superstar man like god he, he is a superstar but in order for him to play at his best he needs a similarly built team as the rockets only that better players and by this i mean he needs a team full of shooters like from big to first point guard he needs shooters all around and he needs a good ass big like if he has a joel and B type of guy so we've seen what he can do with guys like capella dwight that one se half season that they played yeah he he can do monstrous things bro and the sixers with the defense that they, they have they are very capable they're they're shining in all aspects and all they need is one guy that can help carry them to the situations where like in the playoffs when they need that one clutch guy they had jimmy that one season and that was their best season honestly except for that Kawhi lucky ass shot but harden can really be that guy for the sixers again and i think harden is hungry to win a championship now so i think he'll do anything if it means play for real defense and again the reason the rockets weren't able to get deep into the playoffs is because teams were just double team harden and in the rockets with their lackluster players their lack of talent they're unathletic guys that can't create their own shots it would all just come down to harden and harden would have to just find a way to get uh get a foul or just push, put up some crazy ass step back it was the only way for the rockets to score in clutch moments and now with a team like the simmons you got way so, so many more options you can just pass the ball at Embiid and let him be get to work down in the post if somebody comes double team kick it to harden if somebody double teams harden he could kick it to the side get, let uh hit tobias harris or what's it, that the rookie well not rookie the young guy with the dreads yeah he, there's so many options man it's like the perfect fit for six years whereas in the nets Horning's playing as a playmaker and yeah he's a good ass playmaker but it's just not how harden should be playing he is capable of doing everything yeah like he's shown it he can be a very good role player and he won the sixth man of the year for a year for a reason back in the day but Harden should be one of the main scorers for your team. He should be putting up 30 plus point games every week, which he's not doing so much now. And yeah, I just think that Harden going to the Sixers might be the best thing to happen for him in a while. And let's see what happens, man. I just want the best for Harden. Uh, the Nets, I think, will actually be better off without Harden because maybe they can get some. I don't know, Ben Simmons with the Nets might be a better fit. So KD, Ben, Kyrie, and possible with other trade picks or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going to go on, man. But yeah, that's the end of this video, man. So quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, let's see what happens. So it's in 13 days, the trade deadline. So comment what you think is going to happen, man. And peace.